Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 2 and of course practice test number 1, question number 57. The question says, the scores from a math quiz are shown in the table. It's actually a frequency table, it tells you what the score are. Score happens to be for each group and then how many times it happens. So a score of 20 and a frequency of 3 means that three people scored 20, long story short. Um, what is the closest to the value of the standard deviation of these scores? Uh, the standard deviation would be the average distance from the mean, but we're not going to work it out in any other way than our calculator. Save ourselves lots of time. Now, let me bring mine up. I'm going to do this in a list, so I'm going to go into the list section, just hit the stat button, go to enter, and then make a list. I already made mine, that way you don't have to sit here and watch me type things in while you're watching a video, which seems like a total waste of time. The key here is to make sure that you punch each one, each score in as many times as it's supposed to be there. So as you can see, I have one number 10 because only one loser scored a 10 on this thing. Uh, I have three 20s. Um, I have to make sure I have seven 30s, uh, 10 40s, and four 50s. The easiest way to tell is just to do count how many are there total. It'll make your life much easier. Just go down to the last number. See, it says L125. It means it's the 25th term in sequence. So you should be able to add up all these in the frequency section, and it gives you 25. So that way you know you punched the right number in. Now we're going to use that information to find the standard deviation. So I'm going to go in, quit out of my list. Otherwise, it'll do some weirdness. Go back in to, uh, I hit second list there. What I'm going to look for, click over to the one that says math. On your list, mine's number seven. Click down there or just type number seven in. This will help me find the standard deviation. I need to pick the list, so hit st second stat again. Tell me you want L1. And if you named it something else, you need to tell it you want something else. So L1 there, hit enter. And it gives me a standard deviation of 10.45 or 10.5. The closest one, because they said which is the closest, is of course 10.2. So the answer to number 57 is just C. The reality is make sure that you punch the answers into your list as many times as they're supposed to be there if you're given this kind of frequency chart. And then just do a standard deviation or whatever variable statistic that you need to do, and you'll get the right answer. So that's it. Not too difficult. Good luck.